at Upper Iowa University, home of the Peacocks. Here with me is Pete the Peacock. <laughs> university TV is touring you on another fabulous university. Let's go check it out. Upper Iowa University is located in Fayette, Iowa, which is in the northeastern part of the state near the Volga River Valley. This rural community is within an hour of bigger city amenities. It's great to have kind of a rural environment and kind of have these little jewels um, that we're able to go to within northeast Iowa where we can actually conduct our labs and students can do research on the ground. It's kind of exciting. Convenient, safe, gorgeous, some of the best words to describe the campus of UIU. We do have a gorgeous campus. I would say it's not only the grounds and the buildings, but the sculptures that make it so beautiful. The buildings are traditional limestone. There is plenty of outdoor art, and the 50 acres are beautifully landscaped. Plus, there are 18 educational centers in several states, three international centers, and a large distance education program. We also, um, on the FIT campus, um, have many activities for students. We have new buildings, but that is true in our centers as well. We have nice facilities in our centers. We provide quality instruction there. Upper Iowa's main campus has about 1,000 out of the over 6,800 total students representing 25 countries. There are about 125 international students among the student population, making the campus 21% diverse and 53% of the students are male on the Fayette campus. David Henderson was the first speaker of the U.S. House of Representatives from west of the Mississippi. He attended here, but never graduated as he left to fight in the Civil War. In 1900, friend Andrew Carnegie gifted UIU with $25,000 to build this library in remembrance of Henderson. Students looking to attend Upper Iowa must have at least a 2.0 cumulative GPA, an ACT of no less than 18 or equivalent on the SAT. UIU's tuition rates are less than $25,000 annually, while room and board varies by the resident hall and meal plan you choose. The university takes an aggressive approach to financial aid with annual outreach to increase scholarship funds. Team Peacock, which features 35 to 40 alumni, faculty, staff, and students bike across the state every July to raise scholarship money. So you spend five or actually six days together, you know, riding and living together. So that's a real plus because it makes you more co a more cohesive group, even though you're from many areas of the university. Upper Iowa University has 40 majors. University-wide, the most common are psychology, business, criminal justice, communications, and marketing, just to name a few. All courses are offered in eight-week terms. Most students take just two courses at a time, allowing them to fully concentrate on the subject at hand. We get done with our, with our two or three classes in eight weeks, we still get the amount, the same amount of work done as you would in a full semester, but we get it done quicker. You can just focus on the three classes or less and be sure that at the end of the term you're going to have a good grade so that you're not like stress out. We're as faculty members advising students, not only advising them on their academics, but also advising them in their career. I'm pretty much right there. If you don't miss a class, I know it. Um, if you are, you know, if there's something wrong with the paper, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to be right there. And that's good and bad. You can't hide from me, but you're going to get my attention. Fear the peacock? The 12 varsity teams compete in the NCAA Division II and the Northern Sun Intercollegiate Conference. Upper Iowa is the only D2 program in the state. I actually play basketball. I'm part of the men's basketball team. And uh, we, just as a team, we go to sporting events all the time. I go to all the football events at the beginning of the year, basketball events. Our student sections are usually pretty good. Everybody's yelling, it's crazy sometimes. The volleyball games were always fun too. We would always be standing up the whole time cheering for them. So it's, I would say they're pretty spirited, yeah. John Zock Dorman became the football coach at Upper Iowa, a position he held for over 50 years. He went into the record books and was elected into the Coaches Hall of Fame. That's what's up, Doc. There are four residence halls at UIU. One traditional dorm, two apartments, and this one. It's a suite style, plus more of these are in the works. We live in the suites this year, and these, are, these were brand new uh, when we came into it. And living in something like this, this nice, it, uh, it's not that hard to adjust living away from home when you have facilities like this. Student organizations are all the rage. You can make a difference on your campus by joining the Student Government Association, newspaper, or radio station. There's sororities and fraternities that you can join. There's art club, there's drama club. My sorority, we, did, we, we do blood drive every year, a fashion show. Intramurals and outdoor pursuits are also popular. You get free access to all the rec equipment you want. 
On top of all that, UI schedules trips to the movies, malls, as well as annual skiing and white water trips. If you're a student here, you get free golf out at Big Rock, so we go golfing all the time. Another place I like to go to like movies is Sumner. Wednesday nights is free movie night. Shout out to some former Peacocks. Missionary Susan Angeline Collins attended back in 1879. She was UIU's first African-American student. Alumnus John C. Baker invented Enriched Flower and Desinex skincare products. Plus, he filed over 50 patents for inventions. The next time you put your loose change in one of these, you'll think of Upper Iowa alumnus Carlton McGee, class of 1896. He invented the parking meter. Looking for a small, tight-knit community with a world of experience? Fly, drive, or ride on over to Upper Iowa University. I hope you guys had fun here at Upper Iowa University with me and Pete. Now, it's time for Pete to show me some of those sweet dance moves, so I'll have to see you guys later. <laughs>